A stall occurs when the parachute's angle in relation to the relative wind, or angle of attack, is extremely high. This means that stalls can happen at high speeds because stalls are independent of airspeed. Unlike a toggle stall where the brake lines are used, the rear riser input will change the shape of the canopy by affecting the C and D lines, or half the canopy. Keep your toggles in your hands at all times. Grab the rear risers as high as you can in order to get the most range. Right where the lines meet the risers if possible. Take your time when entering your rear riser stall. Attempt to keep your wing level in order to sink into it slowly. Observe the tail edge of the canopy flutter, focusing on feeling what is taking place in your harness. You should feel the lifting power of your parachute disappear and the descent rate increase. All parachutes require the same remedy in order to recover from a stall. However, the way the parachute will react may differ depending on its design. Reduce the angle of attack by slowly bringing the canopy back into full flight. Prevent it from surging forward or allowing it to turn you on the yaw axis. This skill is imperative if you are a canopy pilot seeking to use your rear risers during the plane out sequence of your landing. Do not trust your rear risers to pull you out of a low turn. No matter how fast you are traveling, if you change the angle of attack of your parachute too aggressively, it will stall. Axis Flight School created this video as an educational guideline. As always, we encourage you to seek out additional information and professional coaching. For more information, please visit our website at axisflightschool.com.